This has all the same workings as the electronic, the uh, vacuum tube voltmeter, except that it uses a transistor, in this case actually an integrated circuit, which is right here. This little black blob is where the integrated circuit is, and you can see all of the connections that go to it. The voltage, different voltages, are read again uh, the same way the vacuum tube one is, except in this case we can use much smaller resistors because the impedances are so much higher and the currents are much lower. So over here are the series of, of resistors that switch the voltage and current readings that are selected from the switch which is on the front. As we turn this switch, it actually switches in different resistors along here. In case of overload, there's actually a fuse in series with this so that if you do something wrong and measure 100 volts on the 1 volt scale, you'll burn out this fuse and you just have to replace the fuse. The same thing goes for when you're measuring current. Um, this one also, the integrated circuit not only measures voltage and current, it also works through these leads that go up through here and actually makes, uh, puts power on the digital display. So there's only one circuit, in one integrated circuit in this module now. And it, it uh, does all of the digital work and all of the analog work and measurement work. And at the same time, it'll actually measure parameters of the two major kinds of transistor, the NPN transistor and the PNP transistor. You would plug these in here, and it'll give you how much gain they have. So this entire unit uh, is sold for, for somewhere around just a dollar.